hello and welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed my channel please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get notification about new console videos in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can develop a thermal stress problem in console multiphysics so let's start from the scratch so when you open the console window you will see this uh, window where you can select the model wizard or blank model so i will go with the blank model in this case i'm going to add everything from scratch so if i click on this blank model option you can see a blank console window has opened i have nothing in the model builder so i have to start everything from the scratch so the first step in this tutorial is to add the space dimension so for that i will go to the home tab then after that i will click on add component and select 3d so now you can see a 3d component has been added in the model builder after that i will change the length unit to centimeter and then i will go to the geometry and select the block for the block i will give the dimension 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 0.1 centimeter and then click build select so you can see a thin block has been created so you can call it thin square sheet as well so after that we need to create the central part where we're going to provide the heat for that i will go to the cylinder give the radius 0.5 and height will be 0.1 for the position i will give 5 cm from the x axis and 5 from the y axis after that i will click build selected so now you can see that i have created a cylinder at the center of the squared sheet from which i will provide the heat source so now we are done with the heat source now we need to create some holes for that i will click on the cylinder and select the duplicate after that i will provide the position 9 cm in x and 9 in the y axis after that, I will click on build selected. So you can see here I have created another cylinder which I am going to use to make the hole. So the next thing we need to apply some array command to make four of these. So for that, I will go to the transform option, select array. After that, I will select this cylinder that I want to use as an array. And for the X size, I will say two because I need two of them in the X direction and two in the Y direction. After that, for the displacement, I will provide minus 8 and minus 8 in the x and y and then click build selected so now you can see i have created four of the cylinder and now i need to subtract them from the main geometry for that i will go to the boolean operation select difference after that i will select the objects to add so i want to keep this sheet and the central cylinder the objects to subtract i will select this one this one this third cylinder and the finally the fourth cylinder after that i will select build all objects so now you can see i have created four holes in the thin square sheet after that i will click on geometry and select build all so the next step is the material assignment for that i will go to the material right click on it and select add material from library i will go to the built-in materials and then i will select the aluminum from the list so now you can see that we have added aluminum in the model builder after that we need to select the physics for that i will go to the physics tab click on add physics and first i will select a solid mechanics physics and you can see the solid mechanics physics has been added in the model builder after that we need a heat transfer physics in solid so i will click on heat transfer in solid and you can see that the heat transfer physics in solid has been added in the model builder after that i will cross this add physics go to the solid mechanics physics and i will add the boundary condition so i need only one boundary condition for solid mechanics which is fixed constraint for that i will right click on it and go to the fixed constraint and i will select all the surfaces of the holes for that i will go to the transparent mode and select all of them so I will do it quickly and this is now done with the we are done with the first one now let's select the second one and now select the last one of this one after that I will select all of these four surfaces and finally I will select the internal surfaces for this last hole. So now I have selected all the boundaries, inner boundaries of this of these holes, and now we are done with the 
fixed constraint. I will turn off this transparency and after that I will move to the next physics which is heat transfer in solids. For that I will right click on it and select the heat source. For the heat source I want to keep this central cylinder as a heat source and I will provide the general source of heat 50 watt per meter cube. After that I will right click on it again and select heat flux. This time I am going to select all the boundaries except the boundaries for the heat source. So now select all the boundaries, go for the flux type, select convective heat flux and under the heat transfer coefficient provide the value 10. Now we are done with the physics and boundary conditions. The next step is multiphysics. So this time I am going to select the thermal expansion as a multiphysics and I will select all the domains where I want to apply this thermal expansion. After that the next step is the mesh generation. So for that I will click on the mesh and I will keep it physics controlled and the element size and the element size I will keep normal then click on build all. So now we have created the mesh. After that the next step is the study step. So for that I will click on study and then select add study and then I will select stationary study. So it will take some time and now you can see the stationary study has been added under the model builder. After that I will just simply click on the compute button and it will take few seconds to solve this problem. So you can check the progress here or you can also check the progress here as well. So now you can see it is 9% solved and now within few seconds you can see we have solved the problem. And you can also see some default plots. For example, this is showing the stress in the plate and as well as the deformation. So if I go to the stress and click on volume and if I turn off the deformation, you can see here this only shows the stress is generated in the square thin sheet and if I want to see the deformation I will enable the deformation and I can see the deformation in the thin plate. Also I can see the temperature profile you can see the temperature profile and also you can check the isothermal contours within the plate. So this is all about this tutorial if you like the tutorial please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get more notification about upcoming console videos. Thank you so much for watching.